We are living in a day and age where in the eyes of many, the church has become irrelevant. Um, when I say the word church, what is your initial reaction? What comes to mind? Um, great for old people and young people to believe in something to come into this world and go out of. I think it's f***ing stupid. My family's just not really religious. Mega church sucks. Since I was a kid, I grew up with my grandma and she always just made me go to church. Church, it means the bride, the bride of Christ. They're great for, you know, helping people in the community if they're willing to go there and ask. I believe there is something controlling everything, but I wouldn't say it's the Christian God. Uh, you know, some man in the sky, like, it doesn't exist. God is dead. Our culture is currently full of misconceptions about who Jesus is, what his gospel means, and what the church is all about. And though this is disconcerting, the truth is that it creates a really exciting opportunity to come and bring a fresh reintroduction to what the kingdom of God is all about and who our King Jesus really is. The reality is that every human being on this planet is thirsting for the real, authentic love of God that is most potently displayed in the face of Jesus Christ. The missional potential of living in this day and age in urban America is absolutely incredible. And we have the opportunity as Riverhouse Church to move in and occupy an incredible piece of real estate in the heart of a secular urban context. Jesus taught us to pray, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And this has been central in shaping our understanding of who we are as a church. It has elevated our vision and kept us focused on the reality that God is not just wanting to build churches on the earth. He is wanting to build and redeem and transform the cities that comprise planet earth. And we have been called to this city in Boise, Idaho and believe deeply that nothing is beyond the redemptive power of the gospel. Every person, every situation, every institution, any place where there is darkness, pain, trauma, or injustice, God is working to redeem everything and make it brand new, just as he redeemed Jesus's broken, crucified body and made it brand new through the resurrection power of the gospel. And for this reason, with this vision of seeing a transformed city at the forefront of our hearts and minds. We have labored in prayer, believing that God would give us a physical building, a location that would simply support the outworking of God's redemptive power, that it would spill out of a building into the streets and the homes and the neighborhoods of a city, but not just there, that it would then spill out of our city and it would spill into cities all around the world, bringing the hope of Jesus to the very ends of the earth. In 2016, when River House was just beginning, uh, we'd received a prophetic vision from the Lord that we would one day occupy this Boise Armory building and this would become our church. Fast forward through a series of events, that dream died. We had to let it go and the last we knew this was going to be developed and become apartments. At the end of 2023, we received a prophetic word that said, it's a season of acceleration and it is time for you to build your barn and you're gonna build it debt free. We believed it was the Lord, but we had no idea how this was gonna happen. And within six months of receiving that word about building the barn, through a flurry of events, somehow as if back from the dead, the Boise Armory building reopens to us. We have an opportunity to make an offer 
we step in faith, make the offer, and then finances flood so much so that we're able to purchase this building cash beyond our wildest, more than we could ask or imagine. So all of this leads to here. We have the opportunity in front of us to raise financial capital to fund the reconstruction of this physical building, which I cannot help but think is a small prophetic picture of what we are called to do as a church. We get to bring physical redemption to a building that has been dilapidated and degraded through decades of vacancy. And we get to do the same thing as a people. We get to be sent out to serve a city that has been broken and run down by the darkness of pain and sin and all the stuff of life that just takes a toll upon humanity. We get to bring the potent hope of Jesus to these places. In saying this, I want to make the point clear that in raising money to build this physical barn, it's not about the barn. It's about what the barn is unto. It's about what this facility will resource in our city and in the nations of the earth. We believe that sowing into this physical building is laying a seed that will create a legacy of the resurrection power of Jesus breaking into individuals and families and even institutions of the cities of this earth for the name of Jesus. We believe that God is wanting to build himself a house in the heart of downtown Boise. And he is inviting us as a people to participate with him. We could not be more excited and I could not be more honored to invite you to join us in helping God build his house in the city. River House, it's time to build the barn.